Hey, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze feedback from a customer feedback survey really quickly using ChatGPT. And for the example, I'm going to do a really simple one from a one question survey that I did using Google Forms, which is free for you to do. Well, I'll show you first the form that I did. This is just uh, a simple Google Form and you can ask the question, make it an open-ended answer, and then start collecting responses. And the responses, once you've shared the link with people and they've responded, will come up in another tab called Responses. Then you can view that in Sheets, in Google Sheets, which will open up a separate one with all the answers. Download that as an Excel file. So you go to File and then Download as an Excel. Then go over into ChatGPT which I've done here, and type in a question like, can you analyze the results of the attached one question customer survey, provide insights on the trends, along with recommendations. I also said, see my custom instructions for information about my business and target audience. So if you have custom instructions, which I've talked about before, where you put in your style and tone and who your audience is, a bit about your business, in your account settings, then that's gonna help all the output you get from ChatGPT. So then you just have to attach the file and I don't like to attach it to Google Drive. I just upload from my computer. You may or may not be able to upload depending on your version of ChatGPT, but right now I am able to because I have a paid one. So I find the Google Sheet in my downloads, I click open and it will open that and then I just click input. It takes a look at everything and then it starts analyzing it. So let's see what it comes up with. Now my survey question here was about the biggest challenges when delivering or teaching an online course live or as a recorded video. And it went through and showed me some of the key trends like time management, uh, people saying that time is their biggest challenge, actually finding the time, time for such a project, communication barriers, some people have some students who are deaf, for instance, content creation focus, uh, the content creation process, strategies for enhancing productivity, personalization and relevance, so people wanting to integrate their own stories, that's a challenge for them, actually doing a script, and then there's some recommendations that came up with, so helping people with more effective time management, communication tools, various things that I could do to help my customers use our products more. So as is common with all of these generative AI tools, every time you ask the question, you're going to get slightly different answers. So it helps to do this more than once and word your questions a little bit differently each time. So it came up with some actionable steps. Now with all of these different recommendations, I'm not sure which one I should go with first. So the next thing I can do is actually ask ChatGPT which ones. So I'm gonna paste in the prompt that I used. And that is which of these recommendations would be easiest and fastest to implement considering the ones that would make the biggest impact on my business first. And again, you can reword this in different ways to get slightly different results. It's gone ahead and prioritized for maximum input impact. Creating a script writing guide, enhancing course accessibility. So it's got various things that are different from when the first time I asked this question is, which is kind of interesting. So always use your own judgment on this. It's gonna give you some interesting recommendations and then you know your business and your audience best. This is just your starting point. It is not a replacement for your own human analysis. Now the other thing you can do is use ChatGPT for a more complicated survey, and that's gonna require more steps and more analysis, more information that you give it. For an example, I went ahead and did that for a longer survey. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first question that I asked, which was, I asked it, what do you need? And it said a whole list of different things that it wanted from me related to the survey. I have a pretty detailed survey that I did in Survey Sensum, which is a, doesn't give the best uh, download in terms of a report, but I did that and I downloaded it as an Excel spreadsheet, which looks like this. So it's pretty complicated. That would be hard for me to analyze on my own. 
So I went into ChatGPT, I asked it what it needed, and then I answered all its questions and attached that spreadsheet. One thing that was really helpful here is I listed all of the questions that, that were in the survey and the type of question they were, open-ended, rating scale, and also multiple choice. So I gave it all that information. It looked at it, analyzed it. It actually did not identify the questions correctly, the types of questions, even though I told it. But as it went through the analysis, it figured that out. So it went through and gave me an analysis on each one of the questions recommendations because I asked it to give me recommendations and then it corrected itself as well and looked at the summary of the rating scales, went through all of that and then went through an analysis of everything. And at the end of the analysis, it told me what my next steps would be, which is complete the analysis of the multiple choice, prepare a final report. So I said, go ahead and complete those next steps. Again, it's a conversation, so you don't necessarily have to say, okay, do these steps. You can refer to its previous answer and say, go ahead and do that. And it went ahead and did that. But when you're first starting out, go for that one question survey, like the one I did in Google Forms and just try that. It's quick and easy for customers to answer. Focus on what your main goal is and create that question. In my case, it had to do with what people's challenges are around delivering live video because I wanted to create some new training. So be clear on your goal. And that's everything. Let me know if you have any questions.